technical execution and like challenge of it, it persists up to like a very high level. And I mean, I think we both um, agree with that, right? Yeah, and that's the okay. point. You know, and I want to talk about melee. I like to talk about melee at like the high levels and like I guess like pure level. So almost. what were you? S um, so say now in context of this, say your argument again for uh, for what what you're saying about melee versus Street Fighter or melee versus a traditional fighting game. So, so yeah, so because. With melee, the census execution challenge lasts up to such a high level. You have to, um, you always have to be training. You always have to like. There's always going to be like this like new stuff you're not going to be like too, totally great at. Um, That's true. I agree with that. There's almost but, always tech school you don't know. But at if you get good at a fighting game, it's like well, eventually you're going to pass this execution barrier, and Completely. like it's not going to become that much of an issue anymore. Um, you know, there might be some weird situations where you like mess up your timing because uh -huh. like you you hit them at a time you didn't expect to, and then the hit lag was different, so you like I I don't know. Um, so, but see, I think that's so, sort of similar to melee. And so and so, but then at a higher level, it becomes just most almost entirely like decision making, and not. Yeah an execution challenge but whereas I mean, I melee it's like an execution challenge and decision making at the same time even at a higher level yeah totally People oh oh so time. you're saying it's still it's still like decision based at high level but it's yeah, also yeah yeah i'm not saying the, the, but i'm saying um, execution like it, it's the execution part since it's uh, still important like they, they you know instead of being like 90 percent execution and 10 percent decision make or sorry 90 percent decision making and 10 percent execution is like maybe like some rough numbers for like a traditional fighter like uh, I feel like for melee, it's like forty percent decision making and like sixty percent execution. Where it's like I definitely disagree with that, but <laughs> uh. yeah, I mean, I think it's more like I think in Street Fighter, I'm guessing it's probably more like ninety percent uh, decision making and like ten percent um, precision, What's or you your, know, and technical. And I would say in melee, it's probably more like eighty twenty. What's your experience with traditional fighting games? Not much. Like what? Um, just watching them some, just messing around some in them. Okay, but so you've never really played? Like, no, no. Yeah, okay. I take your judgments with a grain of salt. Yeah. Uh, well, okay, but more what I'm saying, more what I'm trying to say is with high level melee. That's what I'm trying to make the distinction with. I think it's way more decision based than you're giving it credit for. Like, execution is important in high-level melee, but it's not like... People are thinking about almost exclusively decision-making. I mean, that, like, that's the whole point. That's how you're good at the game, is because you don't have to think about uh, technical skill. I'm actually going to... Yeah, you know what? That might be true, and I think I might be messing up my argument a little bit. I want to make okay. a point. I want to. I want to change it a little bit. Okay. And, and mm -hmm. not and, and almost as a concession to you and and what you just said. Um, but uh, I think another way to put what I want to say okay. is that um, at the higher level, like a top one hundred level, like it's. The, the gradient of like how what your rank is say on the top 100 level yep. like roughly how good you are um, yeah, they're, they're correlated yep. uh -huh. is almost a function of how good of control you have over your character um, I sort of I sort of agree so like I want to like so um, you know like how how well can you like do those like very careful spacings where you're just like uh, you know, just barely outside of Sheik's forward tilt range, and then you're uh -huh. gonna dash in at the right time to get the grab before she can spot dodge. Um. So again, I I don't agree with that. So I would say, um, so okay, so say you have like the hundredth best best player and the first best player, and I mean like more generally, not like Armada, you know, and whoever the hundredth sp best player, but you know like the the ends of the gradient. And you tell one of them, uh, just like in some simple like training situation, to space exactly, run up, space exactly out of Sheik's forward tilt. Mm -hmm. Both of them will probably be able to do it, like, exactly. I think if you but ask them to do it in a game, and you, like, they both did it 100 times, I think Armada would get it right, like, 90% of the time. And I think the 100-level player would get it right, like, 40% of the time. If you explicitly told them to do that? 
I think if you like, like, I think training situation is way different than the game too. So like, than like in game. So I think you'd have to like pick some like common situation that happens and then like judge how often they get the execution on that. Okay. Well, I would. S where I'm going with this argument is I'm I'm saying it's more uh, the better players know when to make dis make these micro decisions. Um, like the first best player knows better than the hundredth player when to make the micro decision. I think that's the distinction, not how well they can make the ma micro distinction. Um, like how maybe, technically proficient. Like I really think it's just the fact that like they're better at like spacing themselves in that way. Like just literally in like in tech skill wise. Yeah. I I disagree with that definitely. I'm gonna try and point something out. Right, so Warren was able to space himself right outside that bear. Yeah, yeah, and then, definitely. And uh, then messed up in, like, punishing, but, like, uh, or, like wasn't able to get a punish. But uh, some people wouldn't so, have been able to stop at that exact distance. Yeah, but a lot of that is, like, the knowledge, because it takes a lot of precision. Like, not, not just, like, tech skill, but, like, knowing exactly how you're going to get to that position. Like, it's not like, if you knew exactly how to do it, you could. 